Hello students, welcome to lesson 4.17 on solving logarithms and exponential equations. How are you doing today? Notice anything different about me? My eyes are a little bit bloodshot, but that's okay. Just kidding, here I am. Uh, we're in Miss Dalton's room. I'm Coach Holiday. This is uh, Miss Garcia behind me. Hello. And Miss Dalton, give a cameo. students. All right, and they're here to uh, make sure that I'm teaching this right today. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to, uh, if you'll remember, the solving exponential log equations, we've already done this in the last two units. So we're going to, today's kind of basically a little review, and I'm going to give you a little bit extra on it too. Um, the first thing we're going to look at is exponential. And if you'll remember that if the x is in the exponent, you're going to bring in the log on both sides. If the x is in the base, you're going to raise to a reciprocal power. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on your first example. Where it has 3 raised to the 2x minus 1, and that's going to be equal to 3.96. In this problem, the x is in the exponent, so we're going to bring in the log on both sides. And why do we do this? Well, anytime we solve equations, we just use inverse operations. And if you remember from the very first lesson in this unit, that logarithm is the inverse of exponents. So here we get going. Let's start then with this first one. Since it, the x is in the exponent, we're going to bring in the log on both sides. So let's bring in log. So we'll write log 3 to the 2x minus 1 equals log of 3.96. Now we're going to expand this left side and we're going to bring that exponent down in front of the log. So it'll be 2x minus 1 times the log of 3 equals log of 3.96. Now we want to get rid of log on the same. The, on the side that our variable x is on, we want to get rid of that log. So I'm going to, since it's multiplied, I'm going to do the inverse operation. So I'm going to divide by log of 3. And then those logs are going to cancel. And divide the other side. Got to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll divide by log of 3. And that leaves us with 2x minus 1 is this log of 3.96 divided by log of 3. And if you put that in your calculator and work it out, which is the easy way to do it, so log of 3.96 divided by log of 3, you will get 1.2527112, and it keeps going. Let's just round it to two decimal places, and so we'll make it 1.25. And then I'm going to solve this equation like I've been solving them for a couple years. Add 1 to both sides. That gives you 2x equals 2.25. And the last step is divide both sides by 2. And you get x equals 1.125. If you don't believe me, you can try that in your calculator, OK? Now, of course, we know that this isn't the exact answer because we did round a little earlier. But it's close enough for what we're doing right now, OK? Now, I want to teach you another way of working this problem out. And I think it might be a little shorter, but uh, there's another method to solve when the x is in the exponent. If you remember back when we first started with logarithms and exponential functions, um, we took our, our exponential equation, 3 to the 2x minus 1 equals 3.96, and we rewrote that in logarithmic form. And if you remember, we wrote it as log base 3, this base here, of 3.96 equals whatever was in that exponent, which is 2x minus 1. Okay. Now, if I take this log base 3 of 3.96 and I use my calculator, remember since it has the log base 3, I have to go use alpha and window in my calculator and then 5, but I can type this in. And when I do this, it gives me 1.25. Now, 
Now that number is a little familiar because that's the number we got when we in originally when we divided log of 3.96 by log of 3. And those were base 10 instead of base 3. Um, and that's going to equal 2x minus 1. Now there's a reason why those are equivalent to each other. And there's a formula that you can use to do that, but we're not, I'm not going to jump into that today. Uh, but there is a formula. Now let's go ahead and solve this the rest of the way. Add 1 to both sides, just like we did in the last equation. And we get 2.25 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2. And again, we get that same answer. 1.125 is x. So that's another method for solving. And, you know, it may be a little bit faster. It, it should work on all the problems the same way for you. So you can use either one of those methods to solve when x is in the exponent. The next ones we'll do, we'll do an example where the x is in the base. Okay, our second example, we have our x in the base. So we're going to use a second of these uh, little rules. And all we're going to do is we're going to raise each side to the reciprocal power. So the reciprocal of 6, if you remember, when I multiply a number of times its reciprocal, that equals 1. But to find the reciprocal, I have to write it as a fraction. So I'll do 6 over 1. So the reciprocal, I'm going to flip them and get 1 over 6. So I'm going to take x to the 6th, and I'm going to raise that to the 1 6th. And if you do 6 times 6 using our rule, it just gives you x to the first. I'm going to raise the 96 to the 1 6th power. And then I'm going to do this in my calculator. And if you remember the, the keystrokes, you can do 96 and then press alpha y equals. And then uh, you look for the fraction one, and you're going to just raise it to the 1 6th power. All right, if you don't have the new operating system in your calculator, you can just write it this way. You can do 96, use that caret, and then parenthesis 1 divided by 6. Do the same thing. Anyway, when you do that, it gives you 2.13, blah, 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 and we're just going to round that to two decimal places, which would be approximately 2.14. 96 to the 1 6th power is the exact answer, but if I want a number that I understand, I can approximate it in to 2.14. Okay, so that's that example. Now let's jump into solving log, reviewing solving log equations. Now let's look at solving log equations, and again, this is just a review of the other day, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. This first one, um, well, first of all, remember that we're going to look at um, with logs, condense, swirl, solve, use those techniques that we already have, okay? Um, so in this problem, the first one example, I have log base x of 17.9 equals 3 fifths. All right, so if you'll remember, let's go ahead and rewrite this in exponential form. So what that says, if I have the base x, I'm going to raise that. Here's our swirl, all right, raise that to the 3 fifths and set that equal to... 17.9 and then we'll use what we just did in our other uh, topic here a second ago we'll raise each side to the reciprocal of three-fifths reciprocal of three-fifths is five-thirds so those cancel I gotta raise this one to the five-thirds the 17.9 also so that just gives me x equals and 17.9 to the five-thirds I'm just gonna type that in my calculator as 17.9, use that little key, and then to the 5 divided by 3. And what I'll get when I do that is 122.49 approximately. All right, it goes on further than that, but that's close enough for what we're going to do. As they say, close enough for government work, which I'm in, so there we go. Okay, example 2. We have log base 7 of 6 fifths equals x. Now this is pretty easy because here's what I'm going to do. Since this, there's no variable in this, I can type that in my calculator using the alpha uh, mo, the alpha mo, or the alpha window key and then 5 and type 7 for that base and 6 fifths. And when I do that, I get 0 0.09 approximately equals x. And that's my answer right there. It's an approximation 
but that is my answer. We have one more example. Okay, example three, I have log base six of x equals six times log base six of two. Now notice they're both log base six. So I have a log base six equals another log base six. So I can look and see what's after that and compare them to each other if they're written in that form. So here's what I'm going to do. First thing is I'm going to expand this. I can't expand the left side, but I can expand the right side to make it log base 6 of 2. And then remember that becomes our exponent. And 2 to the 6th power, my 2 to the 6th power, that's going to be 64. So I can make this log a base 6 of 64. And that's equal to log base 6 of x. Now I'm going to take and mark out my log base 6 on both sides. And what I'm left with is x equals 64. This is an exact number, so there's my answer there. Okay, So these are just some strategies for continuing to work on solving exponential log equations. This is the last uh, lesson we have on this unit um, of new material, and uh, we'll work on this in class tomorrow. Make sure you complete your WSQ, and we'll see you in class.